Okay, quick amendment real quick, I guess. <clears throat> and you'll already seen it on a text blurb, but what I refer to as Wobble Squawkers, that's not their official name. They are indeed pet bots. I don't know why I call them what I did, but whatever. Minor mistakes, we all make them. Hey everybody, Klaus here. Welcome back for more Let's Play Rocket and Clank. Last time, we landed here on planet Iridia and got ourselves the Z3000! This time, well, I guess we're gonna come to this place to look for our skid taken because why the fuck not? Now, there's that, and there's something else we can do as well. And those, um... Those guys, I can never remember the name off the top of my head, but... Do you think by uh, hitting him with the bomb glove, their tanks would explode straight away? But no, it doesn't. And then again, oh, is this a video game? What is logic? I never heard of such a thing. Things making sense? No. That, that's not for us. <laughs> <coughs> you said it was a video game that's just based on everything realistic. It'd be kind of boring. That's kind of how I feel about it. Says the guy who played Life is Strange. <clears throat> but since Life is Strange 2 has been finished for quite some time, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to record every Life is Strange game and mock the ever living fuck out of them. Okay, now there's two different pathways. I actually want to go this down this path first. It, oh my god, I can't do that! Oh, uh, I thought I could do the helipack! Uh, no, this is what we need to screen, screenshot for. That's basically all this is, is just a um, screenshot obstacle course. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. This all we're doing here. Gonna get that real quick. I can easily see them being dicks and placing enemies here. Thank goodness they didn't. Because knowing my um, <clears throat> teenage self, first time playing this game, at being really bad at Ratchet and Clank. I probably would have died 17,000 times over. No exaggeration, I would have just um, died 17,000 times over. Rage quit, throw the controller, fucking I'm done. Okay, I wasn't the type to rage quit, but still. Let's go and do that. This is an especially easy mission. There's a pretty good, s well, something here. There's a little bit of tempta temptation bolts, but I'm gonna ignore that for now because skill point. Yep, because I traversed that without touching the ground one time. I got a skill point. Because I a greedy motherfucker. I will go get these bolts. Because I a greedy motherfucker. <laughs> why, why didn't it work that time? Oh well, I got the skill point. I shouldn't be complaining. We get the spectacular... Yes. Dress Master! Now, before we 
pick that, which is... Yeah, that's called an Invincilock. I'm gonna go down here a little bit. Because down here is another cleverly hidden gold bolt. Amazing on its own right there. Okay, thankfully there's a person I got up there, which we can easily get back up. Now the trespasser. These are some pretty neat puzzles in the game. This is just your tutorial meant to show you how exactly how it works. You have these laser connecting points and you have these um, pulling lasers here. You go up and down a ring, you got your outer ring, you got your center ring, and you got your inner ring. Basically, you want to get all these connecting points green, which are on the outer rim right there. And that's how you crack the puzzle. Pretty s simple and straightforward concept. Screw you! Screw you, Lift, I don't need you. I, I, I can imagine, uh, I, I guess that's what speedrunners would probably do, but then again, I'm not a speedrunner, so I... <clears throat> then again, I can imagine, like, speedrunners finding crazy ways to break collision data within the walls and bypass those locks altogether. I mean, yeah, speedrunners do some pretty crazy shit, so I wouldn't be surprised. Also, you got your, you got some majorly ineffective uh, flame throwers, buddy. Are you that you're, or you're pretty um, <clears throat> deficient yourself? I mean, just get aim down. That's a thing that you can do. Oh well. Yeah, we could take the slipped. Take this up downward. Forget lifts! Yeah. <clears throat> That's kind of one thing I really love about, the, about this game is that is the fact that fall damage isn't a thing. I know in so, yeah, I know in quite a few games fall damage is a thing and it can be really nasty at times. Read Kid Icarus. Or fall damage or fall damage was your worst enemy there. No, not the case here. Also, could go without saying, but you gotta avoid that muck down there. Once I get to a checkpoint, I will show you why. But it should go without saying. Just gotta comb this area for a lot of bolts right there. Not the most useful thing in the world to stash a bunch of explosive crates down there. I hate something. <clears throat> Gonna jump up here. This is meant to show you that the fact that you can um, ledge grab it. I don't know why there's a couple of sand sharks there. What are you doing here? I'll take you out real quick. Then I gotta do some exterminating. Get out of here, sand sharks. This is not your element. Get out of these construction pipes! These are important, don't you know? Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's reversal go there very slow. I can actually be pretty impatient at times. <clears throat> Alright. Because I'm more show, don't tell.
thought the checkpoint would have kicked in as soon as I stepped there. <laughs> wow, what a rude awakening that was. Actually, can I make this jump this trick jump? Of course I can. You guys come to me for all your hot speed running tips? Uh, I actually don't, I'm not qualified. Go, 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 okay, okay, good. <clears throat> now, on this little strip of land, if you go up to this little dump truck over here, gold bolt right here in the ring. Very, very, very nice, and that's actually the last gold bolt I can acquire as of right now. Let me just stretch them over there. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go back and land. Uh, that, that was very close. There's the guy. Attention, sir. Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. Haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. Say, you look like an athletic kid. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City, I'll make you my next star. We have no time for trivial matters, sir. I could be the next Skid McMarks. <laughs> Naturally, he would be um, <clears throat> caught up in all that. You're going to want to remember this for later. We can't do anything about this quite yet. But we will at a later point. For now, let's take this back to our ship. And I suppose I could do one machine over there in Edota. And if I'm doing <clears throat> a planet per episode to just, yeah. On a ray right there and... Just gotta convert the commander. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Well, we are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy. For boating? <clears throat> and again, 
think wasn't exactly Whistle and Dixie, but <clears throat> track button to destroy the planet. Okay. So right here. We actually had get to fight these axe bots. It's going to just top you down to size. Oh. We can't do that because we don't have an axe. Drat. Oh, yeah, the next best thing. We can manually take you apart ourselves with the wrench. Wow. When saw blades lose against loot, can will lose against the wrench. That is really sad. But what you do is boost jump here, latch onto the ledge. You get your only gold bolt of the planet. The rest of the secrets aren't really all that remarkable. But what I want to do for now is actually go up this way to start up to start off. Go ahead and pick this. Okay, position that there, that there, and that there. A good chunk of these trespasser puzzles are pretty easy to solve. But for now, <clears throat> just try to jump our way down there. And you want to be very, very careful here. And this is a little jerkish. <clears throat> you see this cliff face here? Yeah, they count as wall slots. Unless you're very careful, you can walk up your way to your doom down there. It is really mean. I don't like that. But there's our burst attack right over there by turning this bolt crank. This is this is the point where we needed outright oh, needed the um screenshot and the trespasser for so Hooray! No enemies on a ray here. But again, I, I do like me some platforming every now and then, so I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm okay with this. And come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> platforming fail. Okay. <clears throat> okay, blessing in disguise. It did, sh it, it did let me show the fact that trespasser puzzles remain solved. You do have the option to solve them again, I guess, if you really want to do that. I don't know why you would want to, but you can. Alright, let's actually do this again, but better this time. Come on, let's end you. Thankfully... You don't have, yeah, you don't have to redo the, um, bolt cranks. Although, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, though. I do kind of find it weird that they just let you redo the, um, <clears throat> the trespasser puzzles again. It kind of seems like an odd oversight. I mean, uh, this remains... Just screwed in. You would think the trespasser puzzles would would behave the same way, but they don't. Uh, whatever though. It is what it is. What can you do about it? Go ahead and open that, and look who it is. It's that same lieutenant 
that Shrek was communicating with. No, you didn't. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Shrek. We here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind boot tester, warhead assembly technician, mutant animal husbandry, robot repairman. Suck cannon test dummy and administrative assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS. Is that funny? Did you see all the cool gadgets and everything? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain. You're absolutely right. I am. Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, uh, you think too much. Come on, let's go. <coughs> okay. Uh, something kind of bothers me about that, but at the same time... Kinda doesn't. I'm not getting into that until a bit later. <clears throat> but I feel this would be a good time for me to bring up that one critique. Notice how Rack and Think are constantly interacting with, with one another? Guess what? In the reboot, they barely have any interactions whatsoever. Just, it's kind of dull, it's boring, and it's, dare I say, lifeless. They just have blank, dead-eye expressions and everything. It's just, ugh. Anyway, there's a new weapon available here I can end this off with. The Glove of Doom is a good weapon, but I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit. For something you'll see in the next episode because this is where I'm getting things off. <clears throat> because there's still one more mission objective. And then it's off to the Lark Station. Which, next time in Let's Play Ratchet and Clank, we'll be doing just that. See you guys then. <laughs>